Well, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Stacks by the Numbers. And I just wanted to do a quick review here of Amazon because I know that, obviously, uh, pretty much everybody knows what this company is and what they do. And, you know, with the stock split 20 for 1, uh, obviously, share price is now much cheaper. And, you know, a lot of uh, newer traders, younger traders, or even those with not that much cash on hand can now step in and buy a company like Amazon for a little over $100 a share as opposed to, uh, you know, over $2,000 a share. But if we look here, this is a five-year chart and, we, you know, we're seeing some nice growth here in Amazon stock. Sold off recently with basically everything else in the market. But, you know, just wanted to show that growth. And if we switch over here, you know, just wanted to pull up. This is like a six-month chart here. I'm dragging out to the right a little bit. This was the last earnings report. Obviously, miss on the top and bottom lines. People beat them up for their EPS. Revenue was actually pretty much right in line. You know, and you know, if a company's bringing in 116 billion dollars, and you tell me that they missed by six million, I mean that I don't view that as an issue, right? But that's just me. But obviously, EPS side. Big miss. Stock got beat up. We have a big gap down here. We're looking at, where is this? About 135 and a half. Well, let's call it 135. So it was at 135. Gap down. Started bouncing around. Went back up to where they brought it, basically. And then rejected. A couple of gaps down. Filled those gaps. And as you see, we're kind of in a tight little range here. But that is mostly because we have earnings coming up at the end of the month. This is just my opinion. But we have earnings coming up in about two weeks. And I have a feeling that we're going to stay in a tight range and then potentially see a breakout of this trend here going into earnings. And then, you know, if everything goes according to plan and they beat earnings, they're looking for a little below $120 billion, only 15 cents a share. But if everything goes according to plan here, I do think that it's going to break out, it's going to pop up here to this 127 mark, and potentially even this 129, 130 mark. And then, if the numbers were healthy, I think it's going to reclaim that gap, and slowly, obviously, you know, we're talking weeks and weeks and months, but slowly climb back up to where it was, and you know, start trending higher again. Because if you look at these numbers here, you cannot deny that Amazon is a grower. I mean, we're talking a market cap 1.15 trillion with a 53 PE, which seems very excessive. However, if you come down here, you know, bouncing around on the EPSs here, but if you come down here, I mean, look at this over the last five years, 177 billion in 2017, they're up to almost half a trillion in revenue as of last year in 2021 right? So 470 billion in revenue and the market cap 1.15 trillion, right? We do a little calculation. I mean, that's what? Around like two and a half. It's less than three times total revenue that this company is trading at right now. So, you know, on one hand, it could be viewed as overvalued, but remember, they've been saying it's been overvalued for years and we continue to take the stock price higher and, you know, it, it's justified because just look at these growths in income and their profit margin and, and their total revenue overall. Obviously on the quarter, again, last quarter, a little choppy, but you cannot deny this growth. You cannot deny this growth. And I wanted to switch over here. If you click on here, wait, just to show you guys, because I did that kind of quick, right? Trading view. You come down here, pull up a stock, scroll down, boom, you can click on more financials. That's what I just did. But I wanted something caught my eye here right? The price to book ratio has become like more and more realistic. 24 times book. Now current says 8.4, right? So that ratio has shrunk two thirds, basically 66%. So, you know, years ago, 2015, you can say they were astronomically a heck of a lot higher than their book value. Now they're only eight times higher than their book value. So, you know, this is why when traders, investors, analysts, when they see a company with huge potential, and more importantly, it is backed up with consistent revenue growth uh, year over year, quarter over quarter, 
you know, th this is what happens over the years. As it goes higher, it also becomes more real and more realistic. And even if we look up here at the P.E. ratio, going back to 2015, 540 P.E. Now we come current, 53 and a half P.E. So this astronomical P.E. that everyone was hating on has declined roughly 90% and now has, I mean, it's still a little higher, obviously, compared to other companies. But to see it drastically come down as the revenue and income has consistently increased quarter over quarter, year over year, I mean, you just can't deny that this is a winner. This is a company, I think, that's that's going to be around for a while. And, you know, unless something, you know, scandalous happens, or if we find out that, like, they're cooking the books, or, or they're putting out false information, right? It's, it's going to have to be something like that to bring this company down. Because at the rate at which they grew... And now they have, you know, warehouses all over the place. They're employing millions of people, everyone and their brother. Uh, you know, as soon as you need something or you want to buy something, everyone says, oh, just check Amazon, you know, see, see how much it is on Amazon. Or now they have the, their, you know, their Amazon Prime. And through Prime, you can watch shows and movies that they're making and anything you order from anywhere you can have it like the next day if you have prime and i mean it's just you know this this is how a company takes over you know basically and over the years as we saw again just to show those revenue numbers i mean look at this growth look at this growth that is astronomical Seeing a company with a market cap of over a trillion kind of blows my mind because they ne these companies never were worth that much. And now you have Tesla, Apple, Amazon, right? These are all trillion dollar companies now. And here it is justified. Again, 470 billion, 1.15 trillion market cap. I mean, that's, that's less than two and a half times total revenue. So, you know, is the PE still a little high? Can it, you know, sell off, of course, and come down? Of course. I mean, anything can happen. But remember, it's this consistent growth that, that really propels a stock higher and higher year after year after year. And, you know, if you got in, you know, even five years ago, I mean, you know, you, you are sitting pretty with an investment like Amazon. But, you know, I just wanted to make a quick video about it because I know everyone's talking about the stock split. And I know, uh, again, a lot of people with a little bit of less money now, you can step in. You can buy shares for a little over $100 when they used to be much, much higher. So, you know, stock splits usually help out smaller investors. But right here, this tightening with earnings coming up, <clears throat> excuse me, with earnings coming up, this is what I, this is why I wanted to make the video because in my opinion, I do think that we are going to stay in this range and then going into earnings, I think that they are going to bring it up, break out of this trend and then potentially have it fill this gap back up, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm talking a lot today, potentially have it fill this gap back up here at around, uh, 136 we'll say so you know is it going to pop to 136 if they beat earnings I, I don't know if it'll move that much but at the same time you know they did beat it up immediately after last quarter just within a few days they really started to tank this down so i do think that we can potentially see back to this move here this is what 127 and if we climb into earnings, we'll say this fib right here, 116 it could hit. And then let's just say they beat 10% uh, will be like 127. Yeah, yeah. So they can, yeah, they can bring it up here going into earnings. And then if they beat earnings and everything goes according to plan, they can get back to this level here. And then probably within maybe even a day or two, 
they can fill this gap back up here 137 140 and then slowly start to climb week after week there so just wanted to give a quick take here on amazon because uh, i know a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it but at the end of the day you cannot deny the growth and you cannot deny that that increase in revenue year over year men lie women lie numbers do not lie so once again, this is Stocks by the Numbers. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Just like everyone on YouTube says, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Helps out the algorithm. Helps me grow the channel. Get more eyes here on these videos. If you like the content I'm putting out, hit the subscribe button. Obviously, it, it really means a lot to me. And I don't care if I end up with 50 subscribers or 50,000 subscribers. You know, at the end of the day, we're basically building a community here. We're all in this together. And, you know, the end goal is if we can all feed off each other, learn from each other's mistakes, and, you know, just keep grinding, you know, in the end, I think we'll all be winners. So, moving forward again, I know markets have been a little rocky, so I wish everyone success. I hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Uh, if you want to discuss anything personally with me, uh, I just threw up a, a little Discord server. I, I, I put the link in the uh, description of every video now. So if you want to come in, if you want to talk and BS with me for a little bit, you know, I'm always here for you guys. But, you know, again, I want to thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your time. Moving forward, I wish everyone well. And I will see you in the next one.